Imagine guys, you're going through your closet, you're looking, looking, waking up in the morning, not feeling inspired, you have a couple of pieces, a lot of pieces actually, and just, you, can, you can't find anything, you're feeling frustrated, and just, you just feeling more and more frustrated because you just can't seem to be inspired, no matter how many pieces you have. Yeah, that's the kind of morning where you just feel like you have nothing to wait, like, nothing what happens after that either you're crying or just even after that shopping spree just yesterday maybe you need to add something else maybe you need to add some other pieces well let me tell you guys in your shoes and today you're lucky because i'm gonna share with you nine reasons why you have nothing to wear and how you can fix it stay with me and i'm gonna tell you all about it right now uh. Whenever you are gone, I just wanna be with ya. Please don't get. Hello, people! Welcome back to my channel! Salut les amis! Bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne! Hola! Bienvenue de la Ami Canal! Konnichiwa! What is your channel? Yokoso! I hope you're doing fine today! And just think about it! When you went on your last shopping, was it out of emotional pain or just something emotional? Maybe a promotion or maybe a breakup or just something that happened to you and just affected you in a way where you just felt like shopping was the solution to it. If that's the case, I've been in your shoes again here and I'm telling you, you're gonna feel hella confused because of it. You have to make a plan. So important, especially nowadays, because you have so many great deals. And let's just remember that we just had sales couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, depending on wherever you live, closet purging and then rebuying a lot of stuff and you felt like you actually did make a great deal. Well, <laughs> yeah, no. So we're just gonna go deeper into that. Is that you think pieces, not outfits. When it comes to creating an outfit, you need to think about every part of the outfit. But when you go on a shopping spree, or if you like you wanna buy something, having that piece because it's cute. And I know I'm gonna be able to create something out of it. The problem lies in just you thinking that way. When you're gonna go into the closet, it was just not something that was your style. It was not even something that was close to your style. You bought it because you like to look of it in that story it usually comes to a point where when it comes to your own closet you just can't seem to be able to kind of incorporate that piece everything in your closet might be way too eclectic you're trying a lot of different personality styles and usually could work or could fail as well it's so so important to literally go through your closet and see the pieces how they are and see your closet how it is and this is related to your own personality i'm gonna sit down with my clients because we need to get through who that woman is who that person is before even going to any type of story because at the end of the day if you go in the store just because you feel like you want to buy something you're just gonna have emotional meltdowns way too many times and think outfits this is where the issue is thinking pieces and you were thinking that specific piece without even thinking about everything you can build up around it. I've said that so many times already. Whenever you go in the store, you need to find a way to style the piece you want to buy three minimum ways and think about that minimum ways it's probably not meant to be at this point. Everything has its timing here. Yeah. Buy more trends than essentials, aka staples. When it comes to trendy items, I'm always up for it. I love to get into that kind of trendy type of element when it comes to my own aesthetic. But if you forget about the basics and you think about buying anything trending first because magazines, Pinterest, your favorite bloggers and whatnot, not only this trend or this trendy piece is not gonna be able to fit into your lifestyle, but it's not even gonna fit into your aesthetic. If you get to buy a lot more trendier pieces, you might find yourself just being so lost because any trendier piece is really specific, really unique, has its own vibe by itself. Any basics, any essential is a foundation to your closet. Think about it as salt and spices. Spice it up, just kind of add a lot more colors, a lot more pop. And that's gonna be the things that's gonna be able to make your project your personality even more. You get to buy that salt and pepper before even getting to buy the chicken or the fish. I mean, 
you might have a lot of problems here when you might want to check that out first. Trendier pieces are here to complement your basics. Everybody is gonna have almost the same basics and the difference is gonna be you choosing trendier pieces that are gonna be good for you. Whenever I show you my pieces here, a way for me to kind of giving you more advice, giving you more recommendation, but not saying that you have to buy it. Always make sure to have something similar. Whatever I'm gonna show you here is gonna be an idea, it's gonna be an inspiration, and it's not necessarily have to be the same thing that you're gonna buy because it's not your lifestyle. I used to wear heels a lot more, and I used to hate sneakers, only just to go workout sessions, obviously. Besides that, that was just not my cup of tea. I've grown up to love my sneakers, and wear heels a lot less because really high heels not at a point in my life where I want to have things in my closet that I can't even wear so for me it's all about just always always rethink your style rethink your lifestyle because that are gonna be the keys for you to add any salt and paper is that you keep buying the same items again and again and again and again not even judging because I've been there it comes to certain prints for example I'm officially guilty of it. You might have seen a lot of floral elements here. On the kind of me having to realize that I was buying way too many floral printed pieces, I can collect them together, group them together, because then you're gonna realize how much you have. It's still a waste of space. Even if we don't literally realize it, we come to a point where every time you're gonna go into your closet, you're gonna find the same, the same thing. And you're not gonna find yourself inspired at all. And I have that feeling that wore that piece a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, gets you to feel like you have nothing to wear because it's all the same thing again and again and again. If it's literally that important for you to get to buy another similar item just because you found it cute or because it was a great deal. So important to think beforehand. Maybe these pieces or this type of prints or this type of cut you really feel yourself comfortable in. I'm not judging for it. I think two to three, it's definitely more. Another reason why you might feel like you have nothing to wear is that you're not planning ahead. Planning up your outfits, it's so important because you're not gonna have that frustration in the morning. Plan your outfit before it. In the morning, it's gonna get so much easier for you to just pick it, put it on. Something that I do all the time is that the weekend before it, or even any type of day you're free or available or have more time, I feel like it's a really good reason for you to even relax because planning your outfit doesn't have to be something that you feel pressured to do. It should be something fun try on outfits, see whatever goes with you or whatever doesn't go. A lot of us, a lot of us, myself included, we have hectic lifestyle, busy days, we have busy weeks. Some weeks might be not as busy, some others might be crazy. You have to find a time and not having to wake up in the morning to feel like you need to put up a nice stylish outfit, put it up in like 10 to 15 minutes. It's something that takes a lot of practice and it's something that takes a lot of fails as well. Dude, no, 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 no. Think about your next three months. Think about that biggest events or biggest activities for the next three months. Up outfits for them. If you have other stress over the event, styling, dressing up is not gonna be one of them. You really kind of hold on on bad fits feel like you have a certain goal let's say you want to lose weight moment different moment or changing moments career you change your job found another job which is really different from your lifestyle you feel like you're gonna get a piece <laughs> and then it's gonna be your goal for you to have it and wear it at some point how to focus yourself on pieces you are able to wear now when I say now, it's like now, day, as in the next couple of days, as in the next week, not the next year, not the next three months, not the next six months, guys. Unless you have literally a room where you have space, <laughs> nobody that I know here has that type of space, or oh, not a lot of us. I really want for you to make magic out of everything you already own, but to be able to make that magic happen, you really need to focus yourself into the now moments. I wouldn't even say get rid of anything that doesn't flatter you anymore, because there's a couple of options. You can either get them tailored, and that's gonna be even better for you if you want to keep them, because you're gonna be able to wear them now as well can get 
into like the memories we have out of there. It's always so hard to get rid of that type of piece, even if you know you're not gonna wear them anymore. You can make something out of it, make it as a challenge for you to do it. It's gonna get me to my next step, challenge yourself. Style is all about evolution. You grew up, you get to a certain point in your life, you get to a certain lifestyle, what you used to wear when you were 15, clearly you're not gonna wear them anymore. Challenge yourself into picking pieces already in your closet that you don't wear a lot, make something out of that. Two to three ways minimum. Have that flare pants and it's probably the only piece. Have a freebie down below related to defining your personal style more and that's really full of exercises they included that part where you have a couple of pieces into your closet strangers of your closet and when it comes to a point where we have more time and when we really trying to create our closet realize we have them stick to one or two pieces if you have a lot of them when it comes to me when it comes to my own style i always 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 challenge myself there's certain things that i know i don't like and there's certain things i don't even know if i like them or not unless i try them the same thing goes for you you're gonna work on your creativity certain type of fabric especially when it comes to fall and winter velvet i die for velvet i like my velvet kimono perfect piece like a perfect piece like it fits so much into my aesthetic love it adore it you know what you can wear that with vinyl you can wear that with leather you can wear that with let's say a jean for example you can wear that with a blouse you can wear that with lace so many ways i came to a point where the way i was tying it before was way too boring for me because i was aware of that already that already change up or shake up things that gets me to my other tip which is that you have too many choices it's overwhelming when you have let's say two three options in a restaurant it's almost easy to choose don't know what to choose you just feel stuck I watch a documentary about it marketing usually people on a, do the best two to three main choices a few options so when you have way too many options you get into that kind of freezing mode then you actually get stuck to choosing a piece you go in a store when you have hundred options that's the reason why your each store or main store is gonna have their own type of style free people they're known to have that bohemian dresses high dresses boho look it's not gonna be the same thing if you go to top shop a little bit more edgy casual chic type of elements to assign your pieces to different type of outfits type of styles within your own style let me clarify it for you when you have a blazer some people might consider a blazer being something really dressy or something just for work and they are not going to be able to see beyond that mindset that we construct around main pieces let's say you work in a startup in a casual environment a pair of jeans could be really classic could be a really chic if you top it with something lacy for example you can be feminine with a jean be edgy with a jean androgynous style just with the jean. The same thing is gonna go with the blazer. Back then, I used to hate blazers. I would categorize them as being something way too classic. My style is just my way of being classic. I just don't like it. It was a piece for me, I was like, oh no, I can't, I just, I just can't. It's all about that mindset. Shake up things a little bit. I love that feeling. Gonna feel like you have even more to wear. You shake things up. You mix match another type of way. My specialty when it comes to personal style and being a stylist is to mix match. I love making magic out of your own current closet. So I get to see your colors, your personality, who you are as a person before adding anything else to it. If you're up for it, I have my personal style program services that are open. A free consultation, 30 minutes consultation in private. Talked a lot about basics here and I'm gonna go back to my wardrobe essentials. But this one is gonna be a lot more updated because a couple of pieces that I feel Personally, you can definitely integrate into your essentials. It's gonna make every style modern. If you operate, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification button. Gonna be able to be notified whenever that video is gonna come out. I have my two videos here, sharing tips, my styling tips, and other lookbooks because it's all about inspiration here. Fun dancing. You know my vibe. Get onto my Instagram where you're gonna have a lot of outfits inspiration again here every single day that I bring to work. Whatever I'm gonna do. Have a beautiful weekend. Enjoy your family. Je vous embrasse fort. A lot of kisses here and muchos besos. Jenny, bye.